days after touching down on Mars, we are now getting an incredible close-up look at the red planet thanks to NASA's Perseverance rover. Some of the last images NASA's Spirit rover ever took on Mars have never been seen by human eyes. And the story behind why is more dramatic than you could ever imagine. The rover met its end at a location that scientists now believe is one of the most likely places in the entire solar system to hold evidence of extraterrestrial life. We will reveal the stunning truth about Spirit's final days, the controversial signs it found right before it went dark, and why those missing photos represent one of the greatest unanswered questions in human history. A Grave of Gold NASA's Spirit rover didn't just stop working anywhere on Mars. To put it mildly, its final resting place is one of the most scientifically explosive locations on the entire planet. The rover's six wheels came to a permanent halt at a spot nicknamed Troy, a patch of soft soil within a larger fascinating area known as Home Plate. You see, Home Plate isn't just a dusty plain, it's a raised circular plateau of layered rock believed to be the eroded remnant of an ancient violent volcanic feature called a mar. Think of an explosion caused by magma hitting underground water. What's left behind is a treasure trove for geologists. But here's the kicker. The most important discovery at Troy was actually an accident. For years, Spirit had been driving with a broken right front wheel, dragging it like a dead leg. This frustrating handicap turned into a scientific miracle. As the lame wheel dragged, it scraped away the top layer of red dust, churning up the soil beneath. In 2007, this accidental trenching revealed a patch of startlingly bright, almost pure white ground. The material was over 90% pure silica. On Earth, you find this stuff in only a few places, and they are all incredibly special. Hydrothermal vents and hot springs like the bubbling geysers of Yellowstone National Park. This was a wow factor of cosmic proportions. The discovery of silica meant that, billions of years ago, Troy was a place of boiling, mineral-rich water. It was a warm, wet, and chemically active environment, the exact recipe for life as we know it. On our own planet, these ancient hot spring environments are famous for one thing, preserving some of the oldest evidence of life. They create intricate structures called stromatolites, which are layered mineral deposits left behind by colonies of ancient bacteria. These aren't just rocks, they are the geological fingerprints of life itself. So Spirit wasn't just stuck in a sand trap, it was a state-of-the-art geological laboratory, parked directly on top of what could be Mars's equivalent of the primordial soup. What many people don't know is that Spirit was equipped with a microscopic imager, a camera that acted like a geologist's hand lens. It could capture breathtakingly detailed photos of rock textures, revealing patterns down to the width of a human hair. This instrument was powerful enough to spot the telltale layered, clotted, or wrinkly textures that would indicate a biological origin for the silica formations. The timing is what makes this story a true tragedy. In its final power-starved months, trapped in the Martian winter, the science team used Spirit as a stationary science platform. They knew they were in a special place. They systematically used its instruments, including that crucial microscopic imager, to document every pebble and grain of sand within reach. They were taking the final, most important pictures of the entire six-year mission. But as the sun dipped lower, the solar panels couldn't generate enough power to run the heaters and the transmitter. The rover stored those last priceless images in its flash memory, waiting for a chance to send them home. That chance never came. The last successful communication with Spirit was on Martian Day, March 22, 2010. After that, silence. The images it took in its final days and weeks, the close-up examination of a potential Martian cradle of life, remain locked in its frozen computer about 140 million miles away. The rover's final panorama was incomplete, leaving a frustratingly blank space, a suspicious pattern. The story of Spirit's lost images is heartbreaking, but the thing nobody tells you is that it's not an isolated incident. It's part of a deeply unsettling pattern that stretches back decades. It seems every time humanity gets right to the edge of answering the ultimate question, are we alone? The line goes dead. You can see this everywhere in the history of Mars exploration. Let's go back to 1976. NASA's twin Viking landers were the first spacecraft to perform direct tests for life on Martian soil. 
One experiment, called the labeled release, produced a stunning result. It mixed a nutrient soup containing radioactive carbon with a soil sample. The idea was that if microbes were present, they would consume the nutrients and release radioactive gas. The experiment came back positive. Gas was released, consistent with the presence of microbial metabolism. But another instrument found no organic molecules in the soil, the building blocks of life. So, NASA concluded the result must have been a strange, non-biological chemical reaction. The lead scientist for that experiment, Gilbert Levin, fought for the rest of his life, insisting his instrument had found life. But funding for direct life detection dried up, and incredibly, no NASA mission since has carried a dedicated life detection experiment. Fast forward. We already know what happened in 2009. Spirit discovers those silica hot spring deposits, the most compelling evidence for a habitable environment yet, and then gets stuck and ceases communication before it can fully document them with its microscopic imager. The timing is, to put it mildly, suspicious. Then there's Spirit's twin, the Opportunity Rover. In 2018, after an incredible 15-year mission, a planet-encircling dust storm blotted out the sun. Opportunity's last message to Earth was poignant. My battery is low and it's getting dark. But its final transmission was cut off mid-image. NASA released the data, a haunting, garbled picture of a dark, dusty world. The final few lines of data never arrived, leaving a tantalizingly incomplete view. What was the rover seeing as the sky went black forever? We'll never know. The pattern continues with newer missions. In 2022, the Curiosity rover photographed a formation that went viral online. It looked for all the world like a perfectly carved rectangular doorway cut into a rock face. It was an astonishingly artificial looking feature. NASA quickly dismissed it as the result of natural shear fractures in the rock. While that's the most likely explanation, the speed of the dismissal for such an extraordinary image felt hurried. It was another case of nothing to see here, move along, right when public curiosity peaked. And now, the Perseverance rover is drilling and sealing rock core samples, some from an ancient river delta, another prime spot for finding signs of past life. These samples are being stored in titanium tubes and left on the Martian surface. The plan is to bring them back to Earth for analysis, but the complex Mars sample return mission won't happen until sometime in the 2030s, if it's not canceled. So again, the most promising evidence, the potential smoking gun, remains locked away, its secrets hidden from us for at least another decade. Coincidence? Maybe. But it's a pattern of crucial equipment failures, missions ending at the worst possible moment, and data being delayed or left incomplete, right at the point of potential breakthrough. It was almost as if something was preventing us from getting a clear answer, unlocking the memory banks. To understand what was lost, you first need to understand how a rover-like spirit sends a postcard home. It's a process that is nothing short of a miracle of engineering. A single high-resolution color image from Spirit's panoramic camera can be millions of bits of data. The rover doesn't just send this in one go. You see the data is broken down into tiny digital packets. These packets are then beamed from the rover up to an orbiter, like the Mars Odyssey, which acts as a relay satellite. The orbiter then uses its much larger antenna to shout the data across the vastness of space, a journey that can take up to 20 minutes at the speed of light, to the massive radio dishes of the deep space network here on Earth. At every step, things can go wrong, Solar flares can interfere with the signal. The orbiter might move out of position. And the rover itself needs a lot of power to transmit. Spirit's memory wasn't like a camera roll on a phone. It was a buffer. It could store hundreds of images and data sets in its onboard flash memory, waiting for the next communication window with an orbiter. This is a crucial detail. When Spirit was in its final weeks, it was still collecting data and taking pictures even though it didn't have enough power to talk to Earth. Its memory banks were likely filling up with the most important data of the mission. Those final, unsent images are now a digital time capsule, frozen inside the rover's electronics at temperatures of negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. But what many overlooked is that Spirit's last communications weren't a clean cutoff. There were likely partial transmissions, garbled data packets, and corrupted files that reached Earth 
but couldn't be properly decoded with the technology of 2010. This data is often dismissed as meaningless static or noise. It gets archived in NASA's massive planetary data system, but is filed away as unusable. But here's where a spark of hope enters the story. Artificial intelligence has gotten terrifyingly good at finding patterns in chaos. AI algorithms have already achieved what was thought to be impossible. They have been used to piece together shredded Stasi documents and have successfully read parts of the Dead Sea Scrolls that were too damaged for human eyes. The most shocking fact is what happened with the Herculaneum Scrolls. These were papyrus manuscripts from an ancient Roman library, buried by the eruption of Mount Vesuvius and charred into solid lumps of carbon. For centuries, they were unreadable. But in 2023, researchers used AI to scan the carbonized lumps, detecting the faint traces of carbon-based ink invisible to any human analysis. The AI revealed words that hadn't been read for 2,000 years. Now apply that same thinking to spirit. If A, I can read the ghost of ink on a burnt scroll, could it read the ghost of a signal in corrupted data packets? Those files, dismissed as static 15 years ago, might contain fragments of the lost images. Modern AI doesn't see data the way we do. It can analyze terabytes of noise and pick out repeating patterns, enhance faint signals, and even predict what missing data should look like based on the information around it. The last secrets of spirit might not be on Mars at all. They might be sitting right here on Earth, hidden in plain sight within NASA's own archives, waiting for the right tool to come along and finally read them. The technology to unlock this digital ghost is closer than you think, the human heartbreak. The end of the spirit mission wasn't just the loss of a machine. For the engineers at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, it was like losing a family member. These men and women had worked with the rover every single day for over six years. They knew its quirks, celebrated its triumphs, and felt a crushing frustration when it became trapped. Their own words revealed just how close they believed humanity came to a world-changing discovery. John Callis, Spirit's project manager, said in interviews that the team felt a profound sense of unfinished business. They didn't just say the rover broke. They used phrases like, Spirit may have perished, just short of a major discovery. Coming from the people who knew exactly what was at stake at the home plate location, those words carry immense weight. They knew about the silica. They knew about the hot spring evidence. They knew the microscopic imager was working. They were agonizingly aware that the proof they had spent their careers searching for might have been in the rover's very next snapshot. Steve Squires, the mission's top scientist, admitted that losing spirit felt deeply personal. After exchanging thousands of commands and receiving hundreds of thousands of images, the rover had developed a personality. It was their tough, resilient explorer on another world. The team spent 11 months trying to free spirit. They ran countless simulations in a sandbox at JPL, using an earthbound model of the rover to test over 1,200 different commands. They tried turning the wheels backward, forward, wiggling them side to side, every trick they could think of. But the fine, powdery soil of Troy held the 185,000-pound rover fast. So, here we are, over a decade later, looking back at one of space exploration's most tantalizing what-ifs. The rover sits silently at Troy, its solar panels thick with red dust, its memory banks holding secrets we may never know. Is this all just a fantastic story? People looking for mystery where there is none? Are we missing a key detail? The thing is, the science is real. The location is real. The lost data is real. The tragedy isn't a conspiracy. It's one of terrible cosmic timing. We had our eyes in the perfect place at the perfect time. And just as we were about to see, the lights went out. The story of spirit reminds us that for every answer we find in space, a dozen new questions arise. What do you think was in those final images? Was it a geological wonder or the first glimpse of something more? Let us know your thoughts below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the universe's greatest unsolved mysteries.